Good morning, y'all. I know this is a little different from what we normally do because you normally see my face, but I wanted to upload today so that I can uh, continue to do what I self-respect, continue to do what I need to do in order for me to be the best version of me that I can possibly be, especially because my left ear is clogged. I think I said that in the other videos. It's clearing, but it's not that clear. So it makes me feel like I'm not in the room and I don't, so I don't want to, um, I don't feel like going live, but I do have messages. The good part of it is I'm getting a lot of downloads. So, um, I want to start by doing this. I thought about this. How, how did I want to bring this message? And what I'd like to do is make it like a personal read for you, a love and light session. Okay. Now I just saw two cards that want to keep, they, they're coming out soulmates, meaning of uh, what you, uh, deem, the right thing for you, the right person, or what do you want? So you're in a place where you are understanding what you consider it to be a good partner or a good match or a good relationship. Nice. And also y'all saw the self-respect card come out, which is probably due to the things that you have gone through uh, for much of your life. <laughs> you have that self-respect working overtime and you just won't settle for less. So you don't, you won't, you don't want to settle for, you don't want to settle. How about that? So anyway, we're going to start with the, um, what is the name of this day? This, uh, true love reading cards. And we're going to get a message from hopefully all of these cards. If we get to them, y'all know if I get to talking, if I get something good, a rabbit hole, here we go. Right? So welcome. Welcome everybody. Um, it's good to see you all. I feel like I could still see you all. Denisha. Ooh, yin and yang. My favorite. I feel like I can see Brazil nut here and million dollar mama and Tamika and uh, Kay and Zia, of course, was the first one here. She probably was the first one that clicked on. So I'm happy that you guys are here. Uh, um, Sharon is here. Um, oh, shit, I might be so tall. T-Dub is here. Mm-hmm. Did I say K-Para is here? Mm-hmm. Melanie is here. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm run. I'm calling names. I'm looking for these. this message here. So this is, like I said, this is a little different. Get ready for the shift. There's changes. There's changes. You see my hands, you see the cards. It's fine. It's a change today. So this is about harmony and balance in your inner and outer life through change, reflection, and growth. Did we not just say that? We certainly did. Um, the Consider the lessons of yin and yang, the, the energy of yin and yang. You know, the yin energy is kind of within. That's the feminine energy. Yang energy is external or without, right? The outside. And that's that masculine energy roll in, right? So this is about you considering the balance. I can't help but notice, y'all. She has a ring on. Do y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Oh, can you? Right? She has this, this, this woman's hand has a ring on. Ooh, Shamandel Soto. What else do we see? Fire. We see water here. I'm hearing Pluto. I see feathers. I see hearts, turquoise, and a red heart. Turquoise might be something, a color that you're wearing, or you might have some kind of turquoise jewelry. Um, you may even have the yin and yang symbol in your home or on your desk or on the wall or on your body somewhere tattooed. You might even have yin and yang jewelry as well, but, and also black and white. You might be seeing the colors black and white together a lot. Um, you might be wearing a lot of black and white or um, or black or white. But uh, this is about your your balance um, due to your reflection and your growth and your and the changes that have been happening. So, um, hmm, hmm, not too passive, not too aggressive. That's what they're showing me, like the, the feminine energy, masculine energy, a nice balance there. And even when it comes to your relationships, that's kind of what you're looking for. You're looking for a nice balance, not too much of them, not too much of you. You know what I mean? That feminine, masculine energy, not too much. Of, of, you're just looking for, you know, is that, there's that word again, simpatico, simpatico. Now we have to define it, but I'm going to keep moving. So that's one card. We'll put this over here. For one second and we're going to get a message from the divine feminine oracle as well as our, my favorite <laughs> they're all my favorite african goddess oracle and we're going to get uh just kind of show you where your soul has taken you at oh yeah y'all were y'all ready for this and where you're going and then we're going to put it all together we're going to build the house and then we're going to put it all together where you're coming up with some good juju marie laveau all right and she has a snake, around, <laughs> a snake around her neck. I know that's right. For some reason, I thought these were bird cages. I'm not sure why, but you might have a 
an exotic bird or you might want an exotic bird. Um, candles, you might have, have candles all over your altar, even at this moment, in particular red or yellow. Hi, Oshun. You may be working with the energies of Oshun. Um, also, crown chakra is kind of prevalent here. You may see yourself as a diamond. You may see yourself as valuable, and that's a good thing. Um, you might be tying your head up with a head wrap or some sort of scarf because that's what she's wearing, and my eyes are drawn there. But number seven, number seven is, um, you know, that's a good, very good number. Um, that's a that's a very positive number, and it means things are coming to completion. Things are maturing. Things are going to things are looking up. You know. And so let's see what the message is with Miss Marie Laveau with the good juju that you have going for you. The element of fire is here. You may be a fire sign, but she is the great ancestress Marie Laveau. She was larger than life. She was a New Orleans voodoo in, a successful spiritpreneur, a famous voodoo queen uh, that first built a thriving business as a hairstylist. Mm. That <laughs> Denisha just went, okay. <laughs> But anyway, Marie Laveau is, is our archetype here, our beautiful model here. And so you might have, uh, you might have a successful, thriving um, hairstyling business. You might be going into one. Uh, you might be a successful spiritpreneur. I like that. I like that phrase. Come through, Aviola Abrams, with this here. Yeah. But a successful spiritpreneur or a New Orleans voodoo -ann. Maybe your, your roots are in New Orleans. In New Orleans. But it says, great luck is yours now. You have been granted the greatest inheritance. Embrace your divine abundance. You have good juju. Three of y'all might need to put that in the comment section. Or 15 of y'all. I have good juju. J-U-J-U. -J, -U. J might be a, a sink for somebody. That's somebody's initial, definitely. Or you, Ulysses. So the embodiment of this energy says, this is a time of increase for you. I'll take that. You are at you are heiress to a rich heritage of divine prosperity. Accept your ancestral inheritance. Good juju is abundance. Luck is being supported by the universe. Abundance is the God way, or the goddess way. Just as you want abundance from those who come after you, your creator embraces wealth for you too. The goddess declaration is, all I do is win. Yeesh, manda. That might be the title right there. All you do is win, especially because you got that yin and yang, that balance of energy. You know when to move forward. You know when to to wait for a little bit. That feminine intuition informs you that you need to wait for a moment. Let's 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 wait for all the uh, the chips to fall or everything to be revealed, and then that that masculine energy in you goes when it's informed by the feminine energy, saying, "Okay, now is the time." That masculine energy goes and launches the business, starts the the startup, right? It goes and and gets the paperwork rolled for the LLC or the sole corporation or it or you know the um whatever it is you're trying to to build and legitimize and legitimize it's all here for you you have good juju all you do is win all right because of the balance yin and yang so let's put those two right there for just a hot second and let's get one more divine feminine from this deck the divine um Feminine Oracle Book. Y'all know this one. Boop. That's how it looks, right? And the African Goddess. Did I show y'all that? Boop. That's how it looks. African Goddess Rising. But let's get a message from here. Did I just... I thought I saw that. The Cosmic Egg. Mm-hmm. And Yeshi Togo. Okay, that's not a good shuffle. But uh, the Cosmic Egg is all about new beginnings, right? It's about incubation. So you've been sitting on some things. You've been launching, but you've been also sitting on some things. And Ushama of Likes the World hasn't seen yet. Oh my gosh, you get the Black Madonna. I know that's right. Y'all cutting up today. I transform pain and suffering into a greater capacity of love. Now, in a nutshell, we have kind of already talked about that when we first got on the stream, saying the things that you have gone through, the situations, circumstances, the, the stuff that has hit your life has forever changed you, right? For the better. We're saying that, for the better. Even if at the time it was like, uh, but now you've transmuted that energy. You've integrated your shadows and your light, and you're like, okay, I'm transforming my pain and my suffering into a greater capacity to love. And what 
what that greater capacity to love looks like is that compassion and grace that we're always guided to um, embody when we're dealing with other people. Just have some compassion for where they are. Just have some grace for, for their journey and, and where they are. You know what I mean? And understanding, kind of no judgment, just, you know, catch and release, baby, catch and release. So let's see what the Black Madonna's message is for us today. We already know all you do is win, so let's see what happens. Let's see. I'm turning, I'm turning. Here it is. The Black Madonna says... Hold on. For millennia, the body, the earth, all forms of matter have been devalued and misunderstood. The dark has been so vilified, yet all life emerges from the pitch black womb. That's why we saw the cosmic egg. Yeah, you're carrying precious cargo. You're, you're birthing something. You are incubating a, the, the next great idea, the next big thing. You're, you're incubating the next move that's going to be the best move. Oshama. The darkness is potential. It's the crucial and elemental stage we must all go through to create new or more life. The Black Madonna is the emblem of deep wisdom, the profound consciousness that is inherent in all things. All living and created things are energy. The body has wisdom. The earth has wisdom. And the pain we experience as humans contain deep wisdom. When we are in the fires of suffering, it can be difficult to trust that gold is being forged. It can be hard to trust when we are in terrific pain that there is a process at work that will make us more authentic, more alive, and infinitely freer. It can almost be impossible to accept or notice the presence of the divine when we are at our most human. The Black Madonna is the cauldron that holds us steadfastly as we endure the alchemy of integrating more soul into our existence. She is the promise that what doesn't survive the fires of suffering was never meant for us. Now that right, Rishamandurabasaya. She is the promise that wasn't what doesn't survive the fires of suffering was never meant for us. And she is the presence that is there with us even when we might feel the most alone, reminding us that there is no darkness we can enter without being met by love. Interestingly, this message is probably really hitting home with those of you who have been feeling like you've been called the way to break away from the crowd, which is a message I gave um this, this week sometime, but there, there are those of you, those of you who are feeling like you need to just, just disconnect, just detach, just break away from, from, from the norm and, and, and every, everything kind of almost like familiar. It's the, the solitude. It's like you're, you're in this, this, this womb, this, this darkness because you're incubating, you're, you're incubating you. You're about to birth you, right? And more, more, moreover, your solitude you're finding is is a place of peace. It's not it's not loneliness. It's not isolation. You're not staying away from people because you're afraid of people. You don't you you know what you don't feel uh, worthy or accepted. It's that you know you know that you need some time to yourself so that you can strategize and then strike. Oh, Bashaya. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Good juju. Good juju. That introspection and reflection and growth. And though and, and again, if you've been through the fires of suffering, you have you are living, you are living and, and seeing that transformative energy that is taking place in your life, even now. All right, let's get some more oracles. Good message. Good message. Mm, oh my gosh, here we go again. The Swan Queen. All right. The transformation, intuition, patience. Ooh, Shamanda. That needs to go in the chat. These are the, these are the transformation, intuition, and patience. All three of these together have, have is giving you this new life. There's a transformation here. The Swan Queen. You might have been what they call a late bloomer, some of y'all. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. You started late. You know, I do everything late. I have my kids late. Somebody said, you know, we try to we try to change that language a little bit and say, you know, you're not you're never late. You're right on time. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing and the time is supposed to be doing it. But I know what you mean. You know what I mean when I say that. You know, you just say, I child, I just start I started my business late. I wish I had done this earlier or da da da. But now, but now you're here. It's okay. We started from the bottom, now we're here. Where is that wisdom? This is card number 13, you guys. So we have a seven out here. We have 13. We also have four out here. So 
Life paths. How y'all doing? Are these your numbers? Are these your numbers? So let's talk about the Swan Queen real quick. This is good. The Swan Queen glides your way and asks that you look at your reflection in the events of your life. Same message as the Black Madonna. I transform pain and suffering into a greater capacity of love. And the Swan Queen says, look at your life. Reflect on the events. She gives you the ability to see the beauty that has transformed your life from ignorance to wisdom. What I, what I didn't know, the things that I didn't know, but now I know. And when you know better, you what? Do better. I love it. The Swan Queen lets you know that it's time to go within and seek the answers in your own intuition. Again, those of you who are feeling called away, called aside, do it, do it, do it, do it. All right. It's time. It's time. And you're going to, I'm telling you, you're going to emerge with pure gold because you got good juju all around you. And this is, and this is a time to find um, and, and, and keep that balance. See, you've in, you're integrating new energies right now. So again, that compassion and grace and patience with yourself, but you're integrating new energies. There's a lot going on y'all in the stars. There's a lot going on on the earth. And so it's important that cause you, you are the only you that you have and we need you. We need you to survive. All right. And we need you to survive. Okay. So take that time, go within reflect. There's a lot of growth in the, in the chamber. There's a lot of new life that happens in the darkness of that womb of creation. And, um, spirit is saying, come on in. It says, don't look outside yourself for answers. Now the true power lies reflected in the still waters within you. Now was the moment to meditate and ask for a vision. The power of psychic perception is inherent in you and the Swan Queen will help you dive deep into your query to find the answers you seek. This is also a reminder to allow time to transform ideas into reality. Nothing happens overnight. Now there's two groups here. There's some of you that are incubating for the next great big idea and there's some of you that or have experienced that when once I started to just not listen to the outside and just listen to myself, follow my own intuition, once I started to do my own thing and not care about the judgment of others or what anybody else would say, think, or do about what I'm creating or what where I'm going or the, the direction I'm headed, once you did that, you found that your success is blossoming now. It took some time. You had to cultivate some patience, right? As you as you built, as you uh, started this new, this new thing, this transformation. But now you're seeing, of course, nothing happens overnight, but you're seeing the fruits of your labor. All right. You're seeing it. Somebody said, I see it. All right. What should I do? Put that right there. Y'all, for some reason, they just, um, actions that you need to take, they just redirected me. I was going to pull another deck out, a tarot deck, but they redirected, redirected me to um, let some of you know what might have been blocking you. Or when you go within, this is what you're going to be uh, overcoming. You're going to be overcoming that. This is the what the energy that you're transmuting, the energy that makes you feel like you're not powerful enough. With um, Marie Laveau here, that's all you need to know. You, you, all you do is win. Okay. So you were born to be powerful and it's safe for you to fully grow up and make your own choices. That's that fear of judgment of others. This is that card, but that there's a perpetual child or your inner child was afraid to, to trust the adult you to, to make the decisions. And you know what I mean? To, to, to lead. And, and so your inner child wounds were like kind of overshadowing the, the greatness that, that is in you. Right. But, but so that has been acting as a block. So many of you will be dealing with that as you're going within and just reflecting. And you're going to be telling yourself a lot of things like I am powerful enough, or I am safe enough, or I can do this, or all I, all I do is win. success is my, is my, counterpart. You know, I don't know. Success is my guy. Success is my, my birthright. You know, you're going to be telling yourself positive affirmations about power and authority. Cause this is about Reba Shundaba. This is about your authority. Also, what can you put in place when you come out of those, of the, of that furnace, 
<laughs> those fires of transformation, you're going to, you're going to have more of a boldness and a courage to just keep trying trial and error. Just keep doing a lot of things. Some of you have already, um, been, you've been acquainted with this. You, you just, you, you're the jack of all trades, right? You just, I did a little bit of that. I did a little bit of this. I did a little bit of that. I put a little spin on that. I put a little bit of that there. And you're, so you, you're used to just trying and, and the answer has eventually found you what you're going to be doing. You have that good juju working now. All you do is win and you're seeing the success and your hard work paying off, right? Others of you that are coming into this energy, just so you know, when you come out of out from that time of reflection and going within, you're going to have, like I said, a boldness to just try to take the risk, to let it all go, to surrender and release, right? Any any expectations, any expectations of the outcomes, you're just going to trust your intuition and just try your hand at many things. And through that trial and error, you're going to realize that there are no mistakes, that if you keep trying, the answers will find you. And that's a fact. All right. All right, that's a fact. So that is the message that Spirit wanted me to give you. So we're going to take your intuition for a spin right after um, we give this final message for you. Remember, I'm gonna, your takeaway is it's safe for me to be me. It's safe for me to be powerful. If I have to go within, I'll, I know that that is my incubation, my place of incubation and my place of power. Uh, solitude, aboshanda, solitude, especially those of you who this resonates with. Solitude is my place of power. Solitude is my place of power. And you guys, you don't just do this one time. This is not just a one hit or quitter. You, you are called to times uh, away by spirit. You are called, your soul calls you to times away in that incubator we like to call it that that darkness that going within that self-reflection many times throughout this journey and it, it never ends this is how you grow there'll be times when you are yin internal right and there are times when you are just out there all right so you're learning the balance and knowing the difference okay that's what you're doing so um all you do is win and those of you who are out of the incubator and now into that yang energy and you just you just out here right just doing your thing doing your thug fizzle i don't know why i just said thug. <laughs> i don't know why i just said that for the tupac fans okay there you go but um you're just out here doing your thing they'll it's everything happens in cycles so there'll be a time when you're like okay i gotta come up with another another here's another one and another one and another one right and then you're gonna want to you're gonna have a very strong desire to go within let's see the message protection you are protected first of all all right one of the most potent signs on the sacred landscape is the ancient oak the oak tree is about strength you guys the oak tree is about longevity it's also about inheritance you know what i mean legacy and this is what you're building you're not only making a, a better life for yourself but you're making a better life for your children and some of y'all your children's 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 children oh shamanda can i get an ashe <laughs> Spirit wants you to know that you are protected. You can weather anything. Your roots grow deep and you are brave and you can survive anything. Stand strong because you carry the energy of a leader and you have great authority in life. Great wisdom is expanding within you and others sense this. In other, in other news, this card can also mean protecting your assets and take care to guard and protect your home and your loved ones and yourself, okay? So those of you who feel like you kind of need to go within just so you can safeguard your loved ones and, and, and your assets, then this is this is a message to confirm what you're already feeling, what your intuition is already, already telling you. Don't worry because your roots grow deep. You are strong and brave and you can survive anything. But just saying, wisdom, wisdom. And you got a lot of wisdom, right? You do. Okay, so... I'm going to leave it right here. Let's take your intuition for a spin. Ask spirit anything. What is on your mind? This is for you to take your intuition for a spin. Let's see what you got. Because all you do is win. All you do is win. Isha. Oh, look at the... How long has that thing been messing up? I hope not much. Sorry about that. I just looked at the screen and I see the... Well, I hope that wasn't doing that a lot. Isha. Isha. Hey, compromise was flipped over in the deck. I'm not going to use it, but, well, you know what? Nothing is a, a coincidence, so let's use it. Where is it? I saw a compromise that was already turned over. So if that is for you, yeah, that's the answer for you. You need to 
reach some sort of compromise, whatever this is you're thinking about. So think about, there it is, compromise. See, I told you I went line. There it is. All right, let's shuffle again. Take your intuition for a spin. Think about what you're thinking about. Spirit's going to answer. Thank you. You need to get more information. Bottom of the deck. Success! All you do is win, though. <laughs> get more information. You know how you get more information? You go within. I can't make this stuff up. I love it. But there is success that's on the horizon for you. All right? You got good juju. All right? It's, it's all good. Yin and yang. Balance of energy. Transform that pain and, and suffering into a greater capacity to love. And you are protected. You're brave and strong. All right? I love it. I'm going to close it up just like that. You guys... Have a super, super rest of your day. I pray you got something that you can use and grow on. One to grow on or maybe one to two to three to grow on. Show some love in the comment section, y'all. I know it's a little different. Like I said, get used to the shift. Get used to the change. I'll see you really soon. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Bye.